I use Excel heavily in my FBA business uh, for all sorts of things, sales reporting, checking online arbitrage opportunities and so on. So I've developed some Excel code that does a lot of the heavy lifting for me. Here's a quick look at sort of what it does. I've got um, just various columns of data here. So we've got a list of ASINs, descriptions, UPCs, EANs, ISBNs, and we can have more. And I've developed this plugin and I continue to enhance it that allows me to access the Amazon data. So for example, if I click on an ASIN and click on the ASIN button here, it will go away and pull back data from the Amazon APIs, the Amazon database. So you're just telling me how long it took. And um, so we can see here, I did a search on the ASIN and it brought me the ASIN back. Not too great, is it? Well, if I click the settings button, this shows you all, all the fields that I can bring back, all the information. If I reset this to the defaults that I like, you can see we've got the search ID, which is this, the ASIN, the title, number of items that are attached to the ASIN, the sales rank category, the sales rank, you can read it all. Um, loads of information down here. So if you think similar to um, Scan Power Evaluate, uh, things like that, this can do the same sort of thing. So if I choose those fields, choose OK, let me get rid of this tab, and then go back here and say, I just want to search that ASIN. It'll go away and bring me back all that data that I selected in settings. Pretty good. Let's delete that. We're not limited to just one. If I select a whole range of ASINs, it'll go away and bring me back all the data for every record that I select. And that is basically the crux of what I programmed in this plugin at the moment. I use it an awful lot, but we're not limited to ASINs. We can use descriptions, UPCs, EANs, uh, and so on. So, for example, let's just click one UPC code, click the UPC button. Then it'll, it'll go away and bring me back the information based on the UPC code. You can select multiple, and you'll know that sometimes you can have many individual Amazon items attached to one UPC code. Uh, it will bring them all back or it'll bring back I think Amazon allow me to get 10 as a maximum these are individual ones um, I can show you sort of what it looks like in let's use the description let's just choose one so here I'm going to use text so this is like using keywords so I click the text and it's going to look on Amazon and bring me back the data for the top 10 matches I think it is for whatever I've got highlighted so do the text brings it all back, gives me all the ASINs that it thinks are relevant. So this is very similar to a normal Amazon search if, if you went to their website. And it brings me back all the data that I want. Now, if you think about how you can use this, well, if you have a list of products from a wholesaler, if you have a list of products from a website, let's say Walmart, you can just have a nice big list of them down here get it to get this tool to go away to Amazon, bring you back all the data. You might not get a fantastic match using the text tool, but it can save an awful lot of time. If you use UPC codes, EANs, ISBNs, then it's going to be a lot more accurate. So it can save you a lot of time doing online arbitrage opportunities. Um, I use it an awful lot as well for uh, reorder, working out how many products I need to reorder, finding the current buy box price and things like that so I'll just click the ASIN click the button and it'll bring me back to buy box or the lowest FBA the lowest merchant fulfilled and all that type of information so let's say we highlight these four I click the text tool it'll go away do a search and probably bring back about 10 items for every entry that I had listed there so what was the five five entries so it might bring back about 50 items something like that let's scroll down see how it's doing lots of iPhone 6s coffee pods took 28 seconds brought back 40 entries so maybe I only had four listed yeah just four if you want to do books awesome ISBN 
give it a click there we go some of the ISBN numbers it didn't find any data the ones it did it brought the information back you're not limited to uh, just you don't have to always click the correct button so if we highlight the ISBNs here we can do a text tool or a text search and um, this will be the same as keying the ISBN into the Amazon search field and it will just bring back the most relevant um, yeah there we go so I thought I'd show you what I'm up to what I'm developing out um, and I will be making this available at some point I haven't figured out when if you like the look of it let me know and I'll keep you up to date